Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to install and create an extension in Fusion PBX. Fusion PBX is a free switch based multi tenant PBX that allows a robust set of features for business phone systems. Using signal wire services with the Fusion PBX permits you to leverage our high call quality and low rates. Today we are going to see how to install and run Fusion PBX on Ubuntu machine. So Fusion FreeBX is a free and open source graphical user interface for a free switch. So first now I am going to check the OS version. Now I am used for the Ubuntu version 20.04. So next go to the browser and open the official page for the Fusion FreeBX. So this is the official page for the Fusion FreeBX. So you can see for download Fusion FreeBX in Debian, Ubuntu and different OS version. So next now I am going to install for the Ubuntu machine. Then copy the GitHub content repository. Go to the command prompt and paste here. Next, now I'm going to move to the user directory from Fusion FreeBX and install for the Fusion FreeBX. Go to the browser, copy the command. And paste here. The Fusion FreeBX installed, it will be take more times. The Fusion PBX has been installed successfully. This is for username and password. For your login credentials then copy the username and password next go to the browser and browse the IP address This is the dashboard page for the Fusion PBX. Next, now I'm going to log into the Fusion PBX. Then enter the username and password. Enter the username for admin. And enter the password. Then go to login the Fusion PBX. The Fusion PBX, this is for the home page, account setting, dashboard, and logout page. Next, account details to be create the new extensions and gateway and user details the dial plans destination and dial plan manager inbound routes and outbound routes then application details and next check the status from the fusion pbx for the various informations next advanced settings so next now i'm going to create the new extensions go to the accounts and click extensions so no extension there available. Now I am going to create the new extensions and add the extension and enter the extension name to enter the extension. They enter the extension for the alphanumeric extension. So now I am going to enter the extension number. Next now I am going to select the range. Enter the number of extension to create. Increments each extension by 1. Next is select the user from the admin. Next is select the voicemail password. Enter the numeric voicemail password. Then 
next you will see for the account code use the billing system if you don't have the billing system it is optional next go to the effective caller id name this is for the internal caller id name then next effective caller id number internal caller id number usually set to the extension number next go to the outbound caller id used for the outbound route for the external caller id name next outbound caller id number used by the outbound route for the external caller id number the various information about the extension to be created toll allow and call timeouts and the record enabled or disabled now i am going to ignore the steps next go to save next go to the extension so you can see so you can see this is for our created new extension now i'm going to create the new another extension add new another extension enter the extension name and enter the range and enter the user details and password and save again go to the extension so this is for our created two extensions now i'm going to call from the 1050 to 1051 enter the extension name and the ip address and enter the password then login So 1050 has been successfully logged in for the one extension dial. So next now I'm going to log into the 1051 in another extension. Enter the extension number and IP address and enter the password. I am successfully logged in for the two extension 1050 and 1051. Now I am going to call from 1050 to 1051. Dial 1050 call from 1051. 1051 has been received from the call incoming call. Now I am going to take from the call, then end from the call. Now I am again call from 1051 extension to 1050 extension. Call has been received from 1051 to 1050. I have accept from the call. So two extension has been working properly. So next go to the end from the call. Go to the dashboard page so this is the dashboard page you will see for the missed call and new messages or number and cpu usages and call forwarding extension details so this is the steps you can follow for the how to install and run fusion vvx and create two extension on ubuntu machine has been completed thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe to our channel to learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.